Can this bucket outshine the legendary Toyota Hilux? Well, that's the question this review aims to answer. This is the GWM P-Series commercial single cab bucket, pickup truck, ute, or whatever you call it in your side of the world. If you ask any Venex speaking South African what this car is called, they will confidently tell you it's a van. Nam I don't care who says what, you van this thing. So back to business, this bucket comes with quite a number of impressive features as standard and we'll look into each one of them later in the video. Welcome to another video. The front of this car looks too nice for a bucket. From this angle you wouldn't really tell it's a bucket. It looks like a crossover SUV especially with the design of the grille and the black insert on the lower part of the bumper. We have some sharp headlamps with daytime running lights, then there's a white trapezoid shaped mesh front grille. At the center of the grille we have a chrome logo which to me looks like a raindrop that's upside down. So in as far as the front of this car is concerned, GWM understood the assignment and I approve. Moving on to the side profile, this car features some nice-ish 17-inch alloy wheels as opposed to the basic steel wheels you get with the Toyota Hilux. The turning signals are incorporated into the color-coded side mirrors. There's also a side step on the side which is a feature we normally see on 4x4 parkies. At the back, the GWM offers a decent sized rubberized loading area with guard rails on the side. It comes standard with two rear parking sensors which is a spec you can't find on entry level Hilux single cab parkies. Other standard specs featured on this car include electric windows, cruise control, air conditioning, Bluetooth radio, tow bar trailer hitch and more. This car has a 2.0 turbocharged 4-cylinder diesel engine. I could be wrong, but in as far as I know, this car is only available in diesel. It has a power output of 120 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque, all from a 6-speed manual transmission. The retail price starts from only 347,000 rands for the XS 2-wheel drive variant, while the SX 4-wheel drive starts from 392,000 rands. The price of this car is more or less the same as that of the Hilux single cap diesel variant. The major difference between this car and the Hilux is that the GWM offers more features as standard compared to the Hilux where you have to pay extra for the radio, aircon, trailer hitch and more. So when it comes to value for your money, the GWM is the best option in my opinion. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more car content in Mzansi context.